Hard to believe, but it's been 10 years since Elliot Yamin placed in the top three on season five of American Idol. Well, since then, he's released several albums and he tours the world. Elliot was raised here in Richmond after moving here with his family at the age of 11, and Elliot is back home this weekend for a special performance and a special fundraising walk this Sunday. He was our guest on October 2nd, 2006, on the very first Virginia This Morning, and Elliot is back here with us today. So, so glad to have you here with us. Thrilled to be back. It kind Thank of brings it all me. around. Life is so cyclical sometimes, isn't it? It really is, full circle style. I love it. Yeah, happy anniversary, by the way. Thank you, and same to you. Thinking yeah, back you. 10 years ago to early 2006 when you were on American Idol, do you still kind of relive that and go, wow, my life really changed at that point? Yeah, I do. Um, in fact, I was watching my audition the other day. A, a friend of mine posted it on Facebook and was like, you guys got to watch this audition. So. I get a chance to, lead, to relive that all the time, uh, especially with social media. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so, yeah, I always, get, I always get this fuzzy, I get the fuzzy feels inside, uh, just knowing how, how different my life is now than it was you know, pre-audition and, and pre-American Idol. And, uh, I've come a long way, let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, you have. So what have you been up to the last few years? I know you recorded a few albums early on. You had a hit song, Wait For You, um, and you've been traveling the world and performing. Yeah, I mean, music has uh, been a vehicle for me to uh, not only travel the world and get to experience uh, different parts of it, um, but um, it's also allowed me, enabled me to uh, uh, to use it as a as a platform for you know plights that are that are near and dear to my heart, like diabetes and um, and things like that. So I, I get to do a lot of a lot of fundraising and charity work and advocation, and, uh, advocating for uh, for different causes and. Um, and of course, I just go wherever the music takes me. So just making records, making music, um, uh, going out, playing, playing the music in front of live audiences, and then rinse and repeat and do it all over again. <laughs> and I hear you're really popular in Japan. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not to toot your own horn, but they love you over there. You know, it's, it's been a good market for us over there. Um, I think because American Idol aired at the same, in real time over in Japan mm -hmm. um, as it was airing here, my season at least. And so. The Japanese fans got to know me at the same time that American fans did, and um, when my first single "Wait for You" came out, it did well over there too, and so that helped open the door to get me over there. And uh, I still get to go there once, you know, once or twice a year, so it's been been awesome. So we can call you an international recording star. That's that sounds so sure. I'll take it. <laughs> it sounds so fancy. You talked about um, supporting events that are near and dear to your heart, and that's one of the reasons you're coming back home. Uh, you've just been appointed the JDRF Celebrity uh, Ambassador. Congratulations on that. That's Thank a nice you. title. But yeah. you were diagnosed with type one diabetes, or what they call juvenile diabetes, when you were what about 16 or so. When I was quite the juvenile, yes, I was 16. Um, uh, I come from a long line of diabetics, actually. My mom, my grandma, I have cousins who were born with diabetes. Um, so when I was starting to uh, show signs of symptoms and not feeling well, my mom kind of recognized that right away and um, checked my blood sugar and it was you know, through the roof. And so that kind of started uh, another life-changing event. Um, and so, yeah, ever since then, I've, uh, you know, always learning different ways to manage my diabetes and um, and of course being on American Idol opened the door for uh, you know to gave me a uh, an opportunity to really um, uh, help raise awareness and mm -hmm. use my voice other, for other something other than singing yeah, and, a great uh, platform for you absolutely yeah because it had to be tough as a teenager when life is so difficult anyway sometimes to have something that maybe set you apart a little bit yeah, it was. I didn't take my diagnosis well. Um, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, first of all, when you're 16, it's a tough age. But when most of your friends are worrying about what car they're going to drive and getting their license, I was learning how to give myself shots and uh, and and all of a sudden kind of faced with this incurable challenge that uh, that I didn't see coming, you know. And so, um, yeah, that was a uh, it was a pretty tough time in my life. I I was in denial. I didn't want to believe that I had it, and I learned very quickly. Uh, that I had to take care of myself. Uh, and, uh, and now I get to be a beacon for others who, who have those same struggles. And I know what that's like, you know. And, and so uh, I love sharing my, my story with people and, and letting them know that if you can look at me and see that I, and it, didn't, it didn't get in the way of me chasing my dreams and, and, and uh, living a, fulfillment, a fulfilling life, um, I try to get that message out there as often as possible. You just have to learn how to handle it. You do, yeah. It's, it's a very meticulous disease. So um, it's important to be really in tune with it and uh, you know, stay on top of it um, because it's, it never goes away. 
<laughs> so there's a walk coming up on Sunday. People yes. can come out and join you then. Yes. Sunday, uh, October 2nd, uh, at Dogwood Dell um, at Bryant Park. I'm sorry, Bird, Bird Park, Park, excuse me. You know Bird um, Park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it starts at noon. Um, you can uh, register at jdrf.org. Um, and yeah, we'll be out there. Uh, there'll be some surprises, uh, but hopefully the weather's going to permit. Looks like it's going to hold out for us. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to raise some money and raise awareness. And that's a great thing that brings you back to town. But also you're going to be doing a special concert this weekend as well. Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way, yeah, what you really do for a living, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we get to get to come back to the Tin Pan uh, out in the West End. And uh, um, yeah, showtime's at 8 p.m. Saturday night. Um, those guys take great care of us out there. And it's going to be a great, great fun, uh, stripped down acoustic show. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Great to be back in town and, and uh, kind of killing two birds with one stone, if you will. <laughs> Where are you kind of musically right now, Elliot? Musically, I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, I just did a really cool dance track with this DJ named Sanjoy, um, this up and coming young DJ um, who's doing a lot of EDM dance stuff. Um, he's from India and, and he's kind of making a name for himself. And um, I do some jazz stuff with some smooth jazz artists. Yeah, I saw you uh, groove into the young guys who were here this morning. Yeah, yes. I want to jam with Future Prospect. Man. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're tight. Um, but yeah, musically, I'm all over the place. I don't like to be in a box, you know, I like to be creative and. and uh, and branch out to as many different, cover as many different genres as I can. Um, so I've been writing and recording a lot, and uh, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll get to release some new music soon. And you're all over social media, so people can keep up with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm easy to find. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty easy to find. You can find me at, on Twitter at, at Elliot Yamin. Um, my Instagram is Sing Like You Mean It. Um, but yeah, I'm out there. Oh, we love it. Our international recording star coming back home. Elliot, thank you so much for coming to see us. My pleasure. Thanks for making time for me, and uh, happy anniversary. And happy anniversary to yeah, you as well.